Hello, welcome back to the Flash Forge Finder video and I am just about to begin a print. Now my girlfriend is a teacher for nursery and she wanted some little kind of pins, you know, like skittles. Um, so I said I'd print some, just tiny, about, I can't remember what it was, four centimeters or something. Um, and oh, it's really awkward to see from this angle. But that is what I am doing. So as you can see, the first thing the printer does is print a little line just to kind of extrude and clean the nozzle. And then it comes over here. It's very awkward to see because what happens is the bed moves rather than the nozzle moving. So on a lot of printers, on most printers, the bed is on the ground. So down, down there at the bottom, the bed doesn't move. The bed is this bit along here. But what happens instead is that the nozzle rises up um, you know layer by layer instead but with this printer the bed goes down and the nozzle stays where it is um, not actually sure what is better to be honest oh let's have a look oh that's nice nice addition there that's that perfect little layers um, you can see it's doing the raft I've decided to do a raft with this because if you're not sure what a raft is um, and maybe I'll do some tutorials and or just kind of kind of beginning bits just showing what is what because I know I've only just got into this whole 3D printing thing and there's a lot to take in at first um, but a raft is basically a layer at the bottom as you can see it doing now which just helps the prints kind of adhere to and bond and so they don't just go flying off and don't stick to the bed as they're getting higher and as they're getting bigger um, now the flash will find it still doing me good um, oh, hang on. oh that's this is the only one thing I hate with this so the filament that comes with it, you stick there in that bottom, well in that kind of compartment there. And the, as you can see, the motor here pulls it into that hole, uh, out of there. So it doesn't come up and around anything because filament's always better coming in vertically to it. Um, and it tends to get caught a bit. And at the moment, I haven't got much left on that spool. I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, and it seems to get caught up a lot more as the spool gets smaller. Um, and is slightly annoying. Um, I guess actually it takes more forks to turn the spool once there's less there. Um, when there's more on the spool it's a bigger circumference so probably less torque. Um, but as you can see now it's putting it in the raft and you can actually look there, look at that, it's actually perfect lines. I love seeing it when it all works well. Um, hopefully it will continue to do so. Uh, I think I'm printing this at only about 50 millimeters per second. Um, because the pins are quite small and I have actually done them with no infill um, and that means they won't be as strong but they're so small that I didn't really feel there was much need for an infill I thought it was kind of useless although then saying that there'll be little kids that'll probably stamp on them or something like this but we'll see how it goes anyway um, I think it said this should take about an hour and a half this usually underestimates it by miles so it'll probably take about two hours um, but it's not a lot to print um, so anyway this just shows it in action as you can see, 50 millimeters per second moving quite fast, although this is doing the raft at the moment, so I'm not sure what speed it does the raft at, but it looks like it could be faster than 50 millimeters per second. Um, but yeah, overall, for plug and play, this print is still going good. Um, I will do a little demonstration after of going through the um, just the firmware on the operating system, sorry, in the user interface. Uh, it's very simple because um, you should not pay a lot of money, really. I don't know if you can hear that. That is the filament to pull on there again. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. Make sure it doesn't get caught up. Um, and once this one's run out, then I won't have this, a, uh, the filament in there. I'll have it separately. Um, although the flash force finder does have a sensor on it, which lets you know when the filament is running out. Um, but I usually have that off um, because you don't want to use their filament. Anyway, so that's it for now. As you can see, this is coming along. Doing a nice little raft there. If I come up here, you can see it. There we go. So the raft doesn't um, have to be too clean because, like I said, you're going to rip that off and throw it away after anyway. So it usually just does um, just kind of random messes over it. Um, nothing too amazing. Um, but it's the next couple of layers that you're looking to be good. Anyway, um, please come back uh, for more videos of uh, the 3D printing, and I'll still be trying to get my Prusa Y3 up and running. Um, it's extruding way too much at the moment and the extruder is loud as anything so uh, there's a lot to figure out with that. Anyway, cheers.
please uh, give it a like and subscribe for more 3D printing videos. See you in the next one.